today for a special edition of Inside Maine Tourism, where we'll be speaking with Bob Myers of the Maine Snowmobile Association. Inside Maine Business with Kim Lindloff and Steve Wallace is Maine's only business show hosted by Maine business leaders. Lindloff and Wallace know firsthand what it takes to bring business to Maine and what goes on behind the headlines of Maine's biggest business stories. Inside Maine Business will bring you the movers and shakers of Maine's business world. From banking, investment, real estate development, and tourism to Maine's most successful companies, Inside Maine Business will bring you the answers you need about Maine business. First Park is Maine's premier business and technology center, located in Oakland just north of the state capital in Augusta. It is a designated Verizon Smart Park. Many companies have chosen Maine and First Park as a business location. A superior technology infrastructure, economic incentives, and an available world-class workforce are some of First Park's valuable assets. Go to firstpark.com to learn more about First Park. It's the successful address for business. Fresh snow, fresh air, and incredible scenery awaits you in the Kennebec and Moose River Valleys this winter. Enjoy an endless number of high-quality groomed snowmobile trails and places to stay. If you like winter fishing, you'll find world-class ice fishing in the Kennebec Valley. In addition to art and antique galleries and a wide array of restaurants to suit every palate, visit us soon at www.kennebecvalley.org to download or request our travel guide and create your winter memories in the Kennebec and Moose River Valleys today. Welcome to our inaugural program of Inside Maine Tourism. I'm joined today by Vaughn Stinson, and my name is Kim Lindloff. Thank you for being here with us. Kim, it's great to be with you again, and I'm really excited about this. This is a new segment, as you said, and it's one that I think the viewers are really going to enjoy as they get to see what the Maine Tourism product is all about. And our first guest, Bob Myers, is really a great gentleman to be around. I've known him since I arrived. He's been very helpful to me in understanding the impact of his industry. He's a great leader for the Maine Snowmobile Association. He's up there in the legislature explaining what they do and the importance to the state. And if you ever need any question answered or anything that you want to know about snowmobiling, he is the guy to go to. And I think um, the viewers will find it interesting just the the sheer impact of snowmobiling on the tourism industry and the money that that generates for the state of Maine and goes back into the general fund. Good point. As you'll see and the, and the viewers will see as we go through this, it's a multi-million dollar industry and it's really fascinating how it's evolved over the years where it's gone from, you know, equipment that was just kind of state of the art to where we are today now that it's almost rocket science, if you will, that it's so modern. I mean, I saw one a while back, you can actually warm your hands while you're driving. Yeah. My car doesn't do that. <laughs> it's true. Well, your car's enclosed. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good point. It is. It needs to be in Maine winter. So I think that what uh, the message that he'll share with us today is, is how this industry works and what it does for Maine is going to be huge. And, and how unique we are compared to the rest of New England, hopefully. Very, very good point, Kim. All right. We'll be right back with Bob Myers from the Maine Snowmobile Association. You've heard it all before. Come locate your business in our region. At MidMaine, we've got a different message. We say, come visit the Waterville region and let us show you a great place to live, work, and play. You'll find we offer a diversified economy, progressive business climate, and an outstanding lifestyle. But don't take our word for it. Let us show you what we offer. It's easy to arrange a visit. Just a quick stop at the MidMaine Chamber of Commerce website will get you started. Ever wonder where real Maine spring water comes from? Well, at Summit Spring, it bubbles from the ground all on its own, just as it has for as long as anyone can remember. To this day, it's still collected in the original stone spring house, without the use of pumps or any artificial means. Visit summitspring.com to get free delivery to your home or office, or look for Summit Spring water wherever natural and organic products are sold. Summit Spring, you should know where your water comes from. Here at Lanning Motor Car, we treat people like family. We have quite a few customers that will come in and bring us cakes, cookies, send us postcards, Christmas cards. We try to treat people like we like to be treated. We opened our business here in 2003. Combined, we have over 100 years experience repairing automobiles. We service all types of imported automobiles. We service Audi, BMW, Mercedes, Volvo, Volkswagen, Saab, Porsche, Infiniti, Lexus. Our staff is trained by Bosch. We're a Bosch authorized service center, which means that we're familiar with 
and are equipped to service even the latest model European cars. When a customer walks into Atlantic Motor Car, we have compassion. We treat people the way we want to be treated, and that leaves the customer happy. Turn your unwanted gold and jewelry into instant cash. Maine Gold and Silver wants to buy your gold and jewelry no matter what its condition. Gold is gold, and that means cash in your pocket. Don't trust your valuable gold to some unknown buyer via mail. Bring it to us and talk with our buyer face to face. It's the fastest, safest, most reliable way to convert your gold into instant cash. Maine Gold and Silver, making our customers friends for a lifetime. Welcome to Inside Maine Tourism. We're being joined today by Bob Myers of the Maine Snowmobile Association. Welcome. Glad to be here. Bob, tell us a little bit about what you do and what the Maine Snowmobile Association is all about. Well, we represent 291 clubs statewide. Wow. Uh, we have about 12,000 families and 2,000 businesses that belong. And they're the folks that maintain about 14,500 miles of the best snowmobile trails on the planet. So it's maintained by volunteers? Absolutely. Uh, we have a grant program that's administered by the Bureau of Parks and Lands that's paid for by snowmobile registrations and a little bit of the state gas tax. <clears throat> and uh, we have volunteers that go out and they work with the landowners, uh, sign the trails, prepare them in the fall, and then groom them all winter. Um, so how many paid people actually work for the organization? Is it, is it just you? We have three uh, three positions in the wintertime. Uh, myself, uh, we have a website manager, a newspaper editor. We publish a monthly newspaper in season. And then, of course, office staff do handle things. And do you guys do the snowmobile <clears throat> maps as well? We have a contract with the state. We produce a statewide uh, ITS trail map. Uh, we also produce an annual snowmobile main guide. We produce a snowmobile show in, at the Augusta Civic Center every fall. And uh, we tend to be out there all winter long. And of course, it's also when the legislature's in, so we're spending a lot of time under the dome. Bob, you know, this industry is so important to the Maine tourism product. I'm just wondering the financial impact that your industry has on Maine overall. Well, the most recent estimates, Vaughn, are somewhere in the neighborhood of $300 million a wow. year. And uh, the full-time equivalent of about 2,300 jobs. And it, it tends to be in mostly small rural communities that really don't have a lot else in the wintertime. So it, it does have quite an impact. And I guess this year with the snow has been a little bit different because in talking with you earlier, I know that there's been a bigger impact in southern Maine this year. There's really just fantastic snow, well, starting probably in Rhode Island <laughs> and coming right up through most of Maine. Uh, it gets everybody excited, but we do have trails in York County where there's terrific riding. Uh, and you can literally hop on a sled there and ride uninterrupted all the way up to Fort Kent. You know, one of the things I know about your industry and in dealing uh, with your folks over the years, and, you know, we sell the sled registration at some right. of the visitor centers, whatever, but landowner relations is really, really important to you. Could you maybe go into that a little bit for our Well, it's viewers? just, it, it's, it's not important, it's essential. Hmm. I, we, uh, like I said, 14,000 miles of trails, and about 96 percent of it is on private land and these are incredibly generous landowners that allow our clubs to use their <clears throat> land um, we try to be good stewards of it while we're out there and uh, remind everybody not to litter to respect people's property to stay on the trail and uh, just kind of behave themselves while they're out there is there caution <clears throat> among land landowners what's the liability aspects of if somebody crashes into a tree on your property and you've been nice enough to let them pass through. Right. At Maine's really fortunate. Uh, they have a terrific landowner liability law that basically says unless you're willfully creating a hazard with an intent to cause harm, landowner has no liability. And uh, of course that doesn't stop people from filing a lawsuit, but they will lose. And in addition, they would be responsible for reimbursing the landowner the cost of defending themselves. And so that's really kind of the glue that holds outdoor recreation together in Maine. We have this terrific landowner liability law, and it protects them whether someone's snowmobiling or ATVing or hiking or hunting or whatever else they're doing on somebody else's property. 
I find it interesting uh, as we provide a highway map for visitors coming to Maine. You folks also provide an ITS map for visitors coming to Maine. And just so our viewers have it, what's your website again for information? Our website is mesnow.com and uh, just virtually everything you would need to know to Snowmobile Maine is there. Links to registration, the laws, safety, uh, we have links to lodging and, and uh, things like that. Mm -hmm. We also update trail conditions on a daily basis in season. And um, we average somewhere in the neighborhood of five to 9,000 hits a day. Uh, we're bookmarked on some of the finest business computer systems yeah. in the East. So. And you know, I know from uh, the industry itself over the years that I've been around, the, the equipment is much cleaner, much quieter now. You might wanna let our uh, viewers know a little bit about how the improvements have come about in that and how it affects our environment. Well, I, yeah, the, the original snowmobiles, which, uh, and many of which were tested in Maine about 50 years ago, uh -huh. uh, were pretty crude two-stroke machines. They smoked, they were prone to breakdowns, they were uncomfortable. A big adventure was about a five-mile ride. Uh, as a matter of fact, the MSA owns a 67 Skidoo, which I'm riding in a parade in a couple of weeks. Wow. And um, I'll, it's the oldest continuously registered sled in the state. We have registration number one on it. And um, I'm going to bring a pocket full of spark plugs with me uh, <laughs> to make it the five miles or so in the parade. But the new machines have great suspensions. They have all kinds of new technology in the engine, so you get great fuel economy. You don't smell like a gas can when you're done at the end of the day now and people can go out and comfortably ride 200 miles in a day. Great. Bob, as always, is great information, but I see watching the clock, we're running out of time. Uh, we're gonna come back in a few minutes and pick back up again and like to talk to you about how Maine compares to other New England states on the snowmobile experience. Dad fix things for everyone. Whose names we never hear, reaching out to help their fellow man. And me? There are dreamers. Well, I just held the light. Who are making dreams come true, taking time to teach the children. There's nothing they can't. Over the years, we fixed things for friends we knew and some we didn't. He was teaching me more than just how to fix things. Teaching by example. Pass it on. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. First Park is Maine's premier business and technology center, located in Oakland, just north of the state capitol in Augusta. It is a designated Verizon Smart Park. Many companies have chosen Maine and First Park as a business location. A superior technology infrastructure, economic incentives, and an available world-class workforce are some of First Park's valuable assets. Go to firstpark.com to learn more about First Park. It's the successful address for business. And we're back on it.